This is Barracuda Buzz coming at ya, and for all you that wanted to know how much it takes to paint a 73 Barracuda or any car in that type of area, that type of size, basically what I did was all the parts separate, if you didn't see any of the videos, I did from nuts and bolts, not too many of them, but from nuts and bolts to to all the brackets, hinges, door hinges, you name it, separately, as in my first video that I shot on painting parts, if you look that up on YouTube. And all the doors, the fenders, the hood, the trunk deck lid, the splash pans, the engine compartment, the trunk, the inside, part of the inside of the car. I didn't do the floor pans and stuff, minus that, and the shell of the car. We did with one coat of sealer, and this is just the sealer and the base coat and the clear coat. So it was, uh, it was Chrysler, Rally Red, FE5 is the code, PPG code for it, and I used DP, urethane, or DP, sealer, first one coat, then I did three coats of the base color red, then we did basically three coats on the majority of all the external parts, and two coats in the truck, and the engine compartment underneath the deck lid, underneath the hood, uh, the jams uh, on the door skins, uh, the doors themselves, things like that, two coats, but basically three coats of uh, clear, and this is how much I use. For a sealer, we just went through just over a gallon of the sealer, the DP50LF with the 402 reducer so you didn't have to do any induction period, which was the best thing. I always used the the, the, uh, the other one for the induction period, uh, and I'm, I'm telling you the catalyst, I, I wish I would have never used that shit. This stuff is much better, I swear by it, it works awesome, and uh, good reviews on it. So just over a gallon of that was used. Now as for the color, we went with Deltron, DBC, the best that PPG has to offer, the best that's probably on the market that's offered, covers very well. And of course, I got about half of that left, half a gallon left mixed. This is mixed 50-50 already, one to one ratio. It's already mixed on there. But basically went through three gallons of just color that sell, plus three gallons of the reducer, which I used the 870, which worked fine in the spring and summer in Michigan. 70 to 80 degree weather, it was suitable, it was good. I didn't have any, any issues with that. But I, like I said, I got about a half gallon of it mixed, so that's about a quart of color left. But there's still some miscellaneous stuff if you wanted to do nuts and bolts and get really nitpicky on, on restoration. But two, two gallons and three quarts is what it took to do that car of unmixed color. This clear coat was the DBC 4000 with the 30385 hardener. And we went through, basically, <laughs> I'm telling you, it's amazing. This is, a, this is a full gallon left there. But we went through three gallons, three fucking gallons of clear on that car. And then I got a, a unopened one right there that we got for touch-ups or whatever the hell you want to what I want to do on there. So, and that's what I used. So I hope it helps you out on knowing how much material is going to be used, how much overspray, and how much waste you're going to have when you're doing brackets, door, you know, hinges. I mean, you know, hood hinges, all that shit. It takes a lot of fucking paint and clear. So, two coats of clear, by the way, on all the brackets and parts, just so you know. So we, we this stuff is a four to one ratio mix on that clear coat, the DC 4000, which is supposed to be the top top stuff out there right now. So that's the stuff that that was used. And I'm telling you, it came out, it came out great, as you can see. So, for your project, hopefully this is a guide for you to get your stuff done and knowing how much, because the cost, I can't even go over what it's gonna, what it costs, but it's easily three grand just in that, not, any, not even including the primer to, to do the body work and blocking and all that shit. So, this is just for the paint job. They're probably $3,500 in, in material alone. So, good luck to you, and look out for my next videos of upcoming videos, because now we're in the assembly stage of the CUDA, and it's about time to start laying out parts and doing inventory. That's the first step, and that's the next video I got once everything's laid out, is inventory of the assembly of your vehicle. That's what you want to do first. 